let's get back to it though you guys remember last stream we were running the industry man we have become the mass mayo marketer the only thing is we kind of ran out of mayo to produce that's how crazy like i'm out of stock that's how crazy you got i literally ran out of stock oh it's the egg festival you guys know that i'm a reigning egg festival champion so it's only right that we run that shit back don't tell anyone but i tried something different this year duck eggs in the custard Blech. think you'll win the egg hunt this year what do you think mark hopefully vincent will be able to find an egg this year It'd be good for him to feel like he's a contender damn vincent's so stupid he can't even find a single fucking egg he just said he wants to live inside of an egg go away we're adversaries until the egg hunt is over all right all right i see you abigail it's about to go down with the egg hunt i don't have the picture of the best route up i'm gonna just bullshit it and hope i beat abigail i know to, i know to go bottom left boom got one boom that's two. Oh, maru's in this egg hunt this year three i might have missed one there might have been one more to the left over there we hit the sewers for four we hit down here for five fuck out of here jazz six is right here seven right there oh don't be clicking on that shit i see one right here we snag that one then we come up here snag that one come up here that's another one that's 10 who the fuck is beating me 11 oh my god i'm going crazy this year i'm going crazy this year this might be my best year yet oh i could get that i could get it oh my god i actually got that one 14 who's beating me who the hell is beating me we got more contenders this year and now the winner of this year's egg hunt Come on, back to back titles. Come on, lay it on me. Casimir, let's fucking go. I'm the reigning egg hunt champion. Received a thousand gold. That's the prize this year? I mean, I guess it's not bad. <laughs> I'll take it. It's all good. We get some. Oh, oh my god. Artesian. Artesian goods, wine, cheese, oil, etc. Mayo. Worth 40% more? It's time. It's time for me to really take over the industry. Good morning, Mr. Casimir. I came to ask you a favor since you're such a kind neighbor. You see, I'm trying to train my goats to say hello, but they simply won't pay attention to me unless I have their favorite treat, cave carrots. So since I'm scared of the mines, I thought, well, maybe you bring me a cave carrot when you have the chance. There's no pressure, but if you just want to swing by between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. with a cave carrot, you'll, you'll make an old girl very happy. Yeah, if you're at your fucking store, maybe I'll swing by. Did that bitch just say she's trying to make a goat say hello? Marnie, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> Marnie, I just came here to give you a carrot. Oh, you brought the cave carrot. Thank you so much, Mr. Casimir. Why did I just put it on the floor and not just give it to her? This is great. I almost want to eat it myself. What? Uh, fuck cave carrots are only eaten for like you know if it's the only thing you got a bunch of weirdos in this town I'm, I'm, <laughs> i don't know about these motherfuckers shane are we homies yet that's that's better than before now, usually he'd be like who the fuck are you go kill yourself but now he's like can't you tell i'm busy that's understandable that is an understandable like back and forth between two human beings you walk up to someone they're like i'm a little busy right now i understand I'll leave you alone. Last time I walked into Pierre's store, he called me a fucking slur. He said, hey, Beak Boy, come over here. I said, huh? The hell you just say to me, Pierre? So I'm not going into his store today. He said, hey, Bird Boy, come over here. I said, what the fuck you just call me, Pierre? Pierre, you look like you fucking eat beans. Raw fucking beans. Oh my God, we made 9K. Oh my God, look at the mayo. Eight gold mayo. 3,000, bruh. 400 a jar. We sold two regular gold cheeses, almost a thousand. Goat cheese just won 500. The parsnips, god damn, the parsnips made me cash, bro. Oh my god, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Once we get everything set up, it's over, man. It's over. Well, it's already been over. I kind of already have taken over the mayo season. You're cash, man. I'd like to surprise my husband with a gift. He's a big fan of leeks. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, really? He's a big fan of leaks, huh? Yeah, I'm sure he's a big fan of leaks. Evelyn, I'm already working on them. <laughs> she wants me to bring her 13 leaks? When I see Casimir in my peripheral, he looks like a duck. That's fucking racist. No! Why must you drop a note into the water? Out of all the places you could drop a note, Tom and Jerry had ass. I bet some of y'all scream like Tom and Jerry. And I'm like, ah! 
That's such a legendary scream. I love that noise. Yahoo! <laughs> I really hungry. I really wonder how the haunted chocolatier gameplay is gonna be. If farming is not gonna be part of the haunted chocolatier, like what is the game gonna be about? Did that guys ever tell you? I did a um, for my film literature teacher or film literature class in high school. We had to do a film at the end of the year, and uh, I did like a majority of the work on the film because you know I know how to edit and shit like that. And uh, the intro of our film was Minecraft music. <laughs> That shit fit in perfectly. The Minecraft music be going hard, bro. I don't even think I was in the film. I, I was the cameraman. You know, I was the I was the the boy. You know, I was doing all the uh, the big boy work. I even put it. I even put it in the film that I was like the person that literally did all the hard work was me. I kind of felt like an asshole putting that in, but like literally, I did everything. I filmed it. I scripted it. I told him what to say. I directed it. I edited it. <laughs> I submitted it. It's funny because like our film teacher, he wanted, you know how like it is in film. They're always trying to talk about like the hidden meaning behind movies and stuff, right? So like our film teacher, he wanted like a very like good movie that had like a hidden meaning or like overall hidden meaning. But like our shit was like a comedy, bro. We had so much funny shit in our movie. <laughs> He wanted like a like a drama with a hidden meaning. Our shit was a comedy <laughs> with a with a with a blatant ass hidden meaning. <laughs> Not even hidden. That shit was so obvious. All right, I'm gonna buy two ducks. We're gonna buy two ducks. We're gonna buy a chicken, and I'm gonna name that chicken all the fucking cheat code names. Ricardo, <laughs> one six six. There you go. Does that look good? Prismatic shard, legend. Treasure chest. Nice, nice. Elliot is a pussy, but he gets pussy. I heard what Leia said, bruh. I heard what Leia said. She said, don't you worry about all the slamming going on in my house. I said, all right, I won't. You didn't even need to say anything. I wasn't worried. <laughs> I know I know her and Elliot be slamming in her house. That's what she said. Literally, she said it. She literally told me. She said, don't worry about all the banging. I said, I was never worried to begin with. So why are you even telling me not to worry? Yes, sir. We finally have the bus. We can go to the Coleco Desert. When we're done here, we'll return to the other world. Ah. Don't say those words. I hate that fucking word. Shane quest? Shane quest line? Up late, huh? This is the first time me and Shane are having an actual conversation. Here, have a cold one. Don't mind if I do. Buh. Life. I thought you were trying to say bruh. <laughs> you ever feel like no matter what you do, you're gonna fail? Like you're stuck in some miserable abyss and you're so deep you can't even see the light of day. Damn, Shane over here speaking facts? I feel like no matter how hard I try, I'm not strong enough to climb out of that hole. This motherfucker really is depressed. <laughs> hey, fast drinker, huh? Man after my own heart. Huh? Nah, Shane, I'm not like that, bruh. Just don't make it a habit, you got a future ahead of you. Well, my liver's begging me to stop. Better call it a night. See you around, Casimir. Like, Shane, just like me. <laughs> Damn, I'm all the way over here, though. I'm tipsy minus one speed? Shane, he sabotaged me. Shane has sabotaged Casimir. I gotta get back home to my wife, Shane. Shane fucking drugged me, so I wouldn't get back home to my wife. Hey, we can go to the desert. Pam has to get a job. Ah, ha, ha. Can't be a lazy bum anymore. One ticket to Calico Desert. What the fuck? Oh, guys, about to say. <laughs> Yo, we're here. New Ark, Alabasta. <laughs> I'm about to save the kingdom. Oasis. Oh shit, we're meeting new people. Sandy. Ah, this is the Sandy I've heard about. A customer. Hi, welcome to Sandy's Oasis. Hey, you look just like the new farmer that Emily wrote to me about. Why is Emily telling you about me? Then the bus line of Stardew Valley's back in service. Oh, I'm so happy. Who the fuck is that guy? <laughs> bombs. I get these bombs for free for my wife. Oh, this is the desert cave, huh? Oh, shit. The skull key goes here. Pog. Damn. New enemies. Let me see what we're dealing with here. They come back. Yeah, fuck this. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bring the prismatic shard to the shrine. Damn. Got it. Do I need anything else? Tell me now, quickly. Just stand in the middle. The middle, I think. Maybe right click. Oh. I see God. Oh, shit. The prismatic shard changes shape before your very eyes. This power is tremendous. You found the galaxy sword. Don't you have work to do? Okay, we're getting there. We're getting into like better dialogue with him. Slowly but surely. Remember Shane when he was an asshole in the beginning? He still is an asshole. I've given this motherfucker six free pizzas. And he, don't have, he can't at least say like, thank you. Or what's up, Casimir? He says thank you when I give him the food. 
But he can be like, what's up, Kaz? You're my guy. You remember my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. I'm surprised that you're still trying to make friends with me. Haven't I been rude enough to you yet? Yes, you have. But I'm looking past it, all right? I am what they call a man of the people. Shane went up. Look how far we are with Shane now. Me and him are about to be homies. Look at this. Everyone in the town slowly starting to love me. Slowly. Look at that. Our first truffle. Damn, it's a gold star truffle. I kind of want to sell it. <laughs> kind of want to sell it instead of having to put it in the, the bulletin board. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Shane. Boy, he's out like a light. Oh, dear. Like, I'm just pulling up. What's poppin'? Casimir, can you do something? He's out cold. I'm about to slap him with my schmeat. She's gonna hear like a wet slap. Damn, look, they even got a picture for him. Blah. Damn, the water can on his head. <laughs> Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do anymore is mope around your room and drink beer. Oh shit, Jazz about to pull up. You wouldn't understand. Jazz about to teach him. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. Damn. You gonna say that in front of Jazz? That's fucked up, Shane. That's fucked up. He mad as hell. Oh, everybody just chilling now. Truffle oil? Let's see how much this truffle oil sells for. I was told big money. Let's see if it is actually big money. 14000 The truffle oil alone sold for 1500 Oh my god, that's crazy. One truffle oil sell for 1500 I'm about to take over the truffle oil business. Fuck the mayo industry. <laughs> I don't even care about the mayo industry anymore. <laughs> All right, 